Hi. So, in this session, we will discuss about uh, various lymphoid organ. As you uh, have uh, seen in previous session, we have discussed the some unique properties of immune system and we also learnt about how this uh, innate and adaptive immunity collaborate and work together in order to develop appropriate immune response to eliminate the pathogen. Uh, in this session, we will discuss about uh, various immune organ. Although most of our cells, uh, they play an important role in defense against uh, uh, any microbial pathogen. However, there are some specialized organ which is uh, playing a very important role in, 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 in our defense system or immunity. So, so uh, the most of these organ, we call it as a uh, lymphoid organ and these lymphoid organs are uh, mainly is a site for the uh, generation of uh, uh, immunocompetent immune cell and over there uh, this, these cells are generated and then they will mature and then eventually it will become, become a naive immunocompetent immune cell. And once these cells are uh, generated, they, they also move to some organ where they look at the antigen and then they will develop the antigen specific immunity so this is a this is a overall uh, uh, what i want to say about the lymphoid organs okay so lymphoid organs are basically two uh, major kind one is uh, primary or central lymphoid organ and this uh, these organs are basically the site for the generation of uh, immunocompetent uh, 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 immune cells or lymphocytes, okay, where this uh, these cells will mature and then these cells will move to the another side where they will see the antigen. And the uh, another organ where they moved, we call it as a secondary or peripheral lymphoid organ. And these secondary and peripheral lymphoid organs are basically uh, uh, located in different parts of the body or throughout the body, uh, you will see in a short while. And over there, they will see this uh, antigen and uh, then they will uh, basically uh, induce the appropriate uh, immune response. And then this, uh, this, all these responses can also move through a very specialized uh, vessel. We call it as a lymphatic vessel and uh, then the immune system will be established. Okay. Uh, so, what are these uh, uh, lymphoid organ? So, this this immune immune system is uh, started uh, immediately after uh, conception when uh, uh, when the uh, when the baby is in development stage or prenatal stage. So, uh, uh, in after a one after one week, uh, this uh, uh, yolk sac you know this is an organ. This yolk sac is uh, uh, formed and this yolk sac is a site for the development of blood cells and in addition this is a site for the development of immune cells and these immune cells basically take care of uh, the developing fetus uh, Im immunity besides the uh, 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 mother uh, mother immune responses okay so after a week uh, in in 3 months time this this whole immune immune related or immune cell uh, production and all those things are taken over by the fetal liver and uh, from there this uh, this protection or development of immune cells are taking place in order to give the protection to the fetus and uh, later on after 7 month the this is taken over by the spleen and immediately after birth, uh, the whole uh, defense thing or generation of uh, uh, immunocompetent cells are taken over by the bone marrow. And uh, uh, in, in next session, I will discuss in great detail about uh, this bone marrow. Okay. So, uh, in, in, in adult uh, uh, human, the immune, uh, the, the primary and uh, secondary lymphoid organs are uh, uh, basically these are the. Uh, key uh, primary uh, lymphoid organ. The first is uh, the thymus which you can see which is uh, just located uh, close to the heart. Okay, And uh, there is a bone marrow. You can see this bone marrow. Uh, basically bone marrow is present in all 
or long bones okay and over there in these two organs there is a generation of uh, uh, immune cell so uh, there are so many development processes uh, after all this development there will be a generation of immunocompetent naive immune cells okay so this is uh, all about the uh, primary lymphoid organ and the secondary lymphoid organs are uh, again uh, various uh, uh, one is the lymph node and this lymph node is scattered throughout our body okay these are basically a bean shaped uh, structure and uh, uh, this plays a extremely important role in defense or generation of uh, uh, or interaction of uh, immunocompetent uh, Im uh, lymphocytes with the antigen okay and another uh, the most important organ of uh, uh, immune system uh, is uh, or secondary lymphoid organ is the spleen so spleen is a very important uh, uh, immune organ besides it is playing a very important role in uh, in 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 uh, uh, rbc maintenance uh, because uh, you may know that this rbc are uh, all defective or uh, all old rbcs are destroyed in the uh, spleen besides this this is playing a very important role in in uh, in development of immunity we will discuss all this thing in great detail in subsequent session okay and there are uh, uh, another uh, uh, lymphoid organ which we call it as a mucosal associated lymphoid tissue or uh, organ uh, we can call it so this is also scattered throughout the mucosal surfaces okay it it includes the gut it includes uh, urogenital tract it also um, uh, uh, the nasal tract is also comes under the mucosal uh, associated lymphoid tissue so so here i just gave you the overview of uh, lymphoid uh, organs in next session we will discuss uh, all these uh, organ in great detail we will discuss about the structure uh, what are the composition and how it is playing important role in defense thank you thank you very much